Hi everybody, we're back and we just finished the bracelet and I mentioned in that video about sari rib ribbon and that I make my own sari ribbon and a subscriber didn't know what sari ribbon is so she asked me to share. So this is sari ribbon handmade by me. Um, basically what I'm trying to express is um, you can buy sari rib ribbon off the internet or maybe you live somewhere local where they sell it but from my understanding now don't quote me because this is only I have not done my research on it but from my understanding sari ribbon comes from uh, women in I, Syria maybe I'm thinking or Arab one of those places and they basically get their sari fabric leftovers and they turn them into ribbon and basically they would they cut it and it does look just like this some of it sometimes you could purchase it without this extra right here but most times it does have the fraying on the ends and that's my favorite part about it and what they do is they cut their leftover fabric from making their sari saris and um, they would get it and then they would get lots of it and then what they do is they get one end to the other end and they sew it together. And that's how you get a continuous amount. Let's see, like here is sewn. And right here is sewn. And they get a continu they make a continuous ribbon. And you can buy them, I think they're called skeins. S-K-I-N-S. -S. I'm not too positive. They come in all sorts of colors and they come mixed like this. And I make my own. Basically what I do is when I'm at a thrift store, yard sale, I always keep my eye out for, for the sari um, skirts, dresses, and I live in Los Angeles so we have lots of it. Skirts and dresses and the hairdress, the hairdress that they wear um, that are gorgeous. All of their fabric is gorgeous. I love stuff from India. I think that's where it's from, India. <laughs> I think I got the other two mixed up. But I keep my eye out for those things. And then I just get my scissors and I cut. And I'm all out of it. This is what I have left from my last skirt. I haven't found any more. And I really haven't even been out shopping for quite some time. So this is what I have left. And it's very pretty. I sent over some to Stacy, which I haven't even mailed that out. But... I have somewhat sort of kind of fabric that resembles the texture of a sari. So what I want to do for you guys and for the subscriber that was wondering, like look at this one. Isn't that pretty? And it's very, excuse me, very random. Uh, the pieces that they sew together. And I love that. So what I want to do is get some kind of fabric that I have in my stash which is usually clothing that I use as fabric which is fabric right just to um, give you a simulation of what I do when I do have the real stuff so I have a fabric that's kind of similar not in the pattern but to the texture of sorry so I pulled out a few and to see which one works out because I have done it so many times I kind of have that <coughs> I kind of know what it feels like basically you when you find your skirt from India you would just slit it like you would cotton and you rip it let's see if this one does no that one won't do it okay so let me move on to the next piece because usually it keeps a straight line here's another piece I think this is a skirt I better look at it. I might like it now. Oh no, it's not a skirt. It is a child's children's dress. Do you see that? Little girl's dress. Let's see if this cuts. Let's try it upwards. Basically, there we go. This one works. You do it like that. Uh, as thick or as thin as you like and you can you you can braid them up you can braid these right and put them on charms you can 
glue them onto canvases, you can use them as jewelry, you can braid them into your hair, braid them up and make yourself a really pretty bracelet. There's so many things that you can do with this. Hopefully this one will work. Yeah, see that's good. Well, not as good as a sari skirt. Usually it just stays straight. But that's good enough for me. Let me try another one. So I have a few that I pulled out. I have a vintage, very patriotic, not patriotic, strange looking blouse here. Let me show it to you. Now I used to have this up in my thrift store. It never sold. It got a lot of attention though. I don't know where it's from. Maybe I can see where it's from. It says California. Okay, let me see if this will work. Sometimes the fabric works going up or sideways. We'll see. Okay. I know I'm off camera. Let's see. Let me give it a rip. This one worked. So now I've got a piece here, right? Just like that. I think that's really cool. Look at that. That's pretty. Now that it's out of the blouse, I can enjoy certain parts of it. That's really pretty. Isn't that pretty? Very patriotic. I don't know where that flag is from though. Oh, it says Elizabeth for Delhi. Awesome. I'm going to keep my eye out for these funny looking shirts. Well, funny looking to me. Because I actually really like that. I like that a lot. And that's how you would make sari ribbon from sari dresses. I like that noise. Now I'm quite enjoying this blouse because now that it's cut up, kind of like when we do our ATCs and we cut them up into little ATC size, you really get to, oh look at that, that came out nice. Very nice, I like that a lot. And that's how you would make it. And I'm now I'm going to sit here and cut this whole shirt up and see what the other fabrics that I have because I do like having sorry ribbon around I usually sho shove them in jars and have the jars next to me so when I'm working on something I could pull some out and also I have like a basket over here with stuff that I want to use in the future I have these in here I have pieces of lace, and you could do it even with uh, cotton, I think this is. I don't know what this is called. I don't know my fabrics. You can tear pieces like that. So I would get my sari and the ones we just made. I would get it and stick it in here and keep it right next to me. So when I'm making bracelets or working on a journal or making tassels, whatever it is I'm up to, I usually add some kind of fiber. And now that I got all those fibers, from Kendra. I've got lots of things to play with. Okay, so I'm going to sit here and just tear and it's actually very therapeutical and I love it. Okay, catch you guys later.